dark, where we do stuff after dark. And it gets a little rowdy. Gets a little raunchy. And we have fun. Supposedly. Kind of. In a way. Well, let's go ahead and look some videos. Let's see what we got here. What we got to look at here. Okay. Drama Clip Dump's got a new one. Blessed and high. Hey, sunny side. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Hey, rainy in the desert. How are you doing? Why are you covering one eye, Rev? You're cute. You're high. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Wish I'd have done better over the weekend. Yeah. Lost in That's the cool, abyss. Sunny Side. What are we having? That's a good name. I like that. That's me. Are you lost in the abyss, Shannon? Yeah. Why don't you, you are the abyss. Lost in the mist, in the, in the in the abyss, in the mist, in the abyss, in the abyss, eating a whoopie pie. You feel nothing. You feel nothing. And medicated. Medicated and feeling nothing. We well, that puts you about where you want to be, doesn't it? Feeling nothing. How nice. We had somebody that blessed us. And, That's you nice. know, people are cool. People are really fucking awesome. Oh, doing good, doing yeah. good. Thank you. Hey, AK-47, how are you doing? Has been really Christ. I don't know what they did, but they changed something in it. Gabapentin is really good, folks. Gabapentin is the fucking shit. It actually is. And, you know, when I was working at Burger King, there was a really nice individual there. Very nice. Like these fucking, the, the, the white light. Get out. Let's, uh, uh, that's better. I like that. Uh, I was working at Burger King, and there was an individual that worked there. And she, uh, she was a P, sorry. They were transgender. Tran they were trans. They call they called him Teddy, very nice person, and had uh, Jesus Christ. They had the same uh, health conditions that Shanny has, like literally, uh, fibro. Uh, uh, we don't do that. AK forty seven. I have to know you first. And the stretchy Sorry. skin. And we the, see through Gypsy. Blah, 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 what uh, the, the, that weird You can thing. shout it out in the chat though. Uh, they go to me. Hey, hey, Randall Gary. I'm prescribed. I'm prescribed Adderall because I have ADHD. And she's he. Huh. That's so, you know. I'm sorry, AK. I have to know you pretty well first uh, to let you up here. Um, I just don't do that because it's just, uh, you know, I have to know you. And I just don't know you yet. And I do apologize. I want to be fucking... <sighs> I apologize to all transgenders. You know what I mean? I'm trying because like Nadia, I love Nadia and, and I should be in the mode. It's, it's, it's a, it's a he, you know what I mean? In this case, it's a trans woman, a uh, trans man, trans man, a trans man. I really apologize. 
because I'm totally pro this stuff, like everything LGBTQ, I'm, I'm for it because it's about love. It's about loving people, you know, what's up ashes. Oh, okay. See through Jitsu. You know, I, I, it's about love. It's not about, oh, we're going to violate the Bible. You know, you, oh, how, you yeah. Don't you want someone to care about you? Exactly. See. Don't let it slip away. Yay, yay. Love is fucking worth it. You know? These transgender people just want to live their fucking lives and be, like, happy. You know? Yeah, and I understand that, but you're a transphobe. You say transphobic shit all the fucking time. And now you're choosing to be for transgender people? For real? You're gonna, fl you're gonna wave that flag now? You break. Oh, no. and you got these fucking cock sucking piece of shit. Oh, we're Christians. Like G Man saying he's gonna take a bat on a transgender's head. Mm -hmm. And then Carrie supports him. He did that. He did that. Carrie supports him. What the fuck are you talking about? She made an excuse for it, man. That's so fucked up. Wait a minute. You are lying through your tooth, Shannon. You are lying through your tooth. What, is Carrie sucking G-Man's fucking cock? Probably. Is that for real? Yeah. You are lying. Lying, lying, lying. Lying. That is not happening. And you are so full of fucking shit. God, I hate you too. Carrie, do you like the BBC? Oh. Do you like the BBC, you racist Carrie? bitch. Make you scream, not like your Double wife. penetration. Ah, dude, that's it. Okay? Okay, we need to stop. I'm being mom. I'm no, sorry. this is awesome. I am on gas. That's what y'all go. That's what all you fuckers go to, cause y'all ain't got nothing else. You don't have anything fucking else, so you go to, you go to the nastiest, sleaziest place you can fucking go. That's why I hate you so much. You go to the nastiest, sleaziest place you can fucking go in your head. You can't attack. You you just you just sit there and disparage someone's virtue. You can't debate her on facts. So you attack her virtue. Yeah. Good job, bitch. I have a penton, and it's <laughs> absolutely driving me crazy right now. It's Gamma Penton. I don't know. They did something to it. ACT, no, how you somebody doing? blessed us. I'm going to let them know. I don't I'm, know. I'm burping. Can we get a little bit of a woo, 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 Snoop Dogg? God, I fucking hate you two. I fucking hate you two. You two are the biggest pieces of shit. I believe I've ever seen in my fucking life other than Nick Bravo and Sabella. Y'all are about neck and neck. No, okay. Whatever. Fuck this shit. I'm just gonna play video games. Check this fucking shit out, okay? I don't know what's gonna catch. This is for Mike Matei. Alright, I'm gonna tag Mike Matei in this fucking video. Yeah, I'm going to okay. tell you right now, Mike, this fucking TV, okay, it's a fucking Vizio. It's got, uh, what do you call it? Fucking, what is it called? It's got, it's got components. No, I'm just tired of these fucking lulz cows. Every fucking time they, they, uh, got something to say about somebody, they, uh, they attack about someone's sexuality and what they do in the bedroom. I'm getting fucking sick of it. And it's starting to piss me the fuck off is what it's starting to, starting to do. It's really starting to piss me off. This little needle dick bastard has the gall to say that about Carrie. Fuck him and the horse he rode in on, that big bitch. It, right it's got the red it's got the red the white and the fucking yellow 
in the back of it. Hey, dude, brother. Right? This thing looks like a fucking CRT, okay? Mike, like, for real, I'm with you. I'm That's with you on, on flat monitors being shit for, for classic games. Can I remind you the battery on the phone is about to die? Oh, okay, I can't do shit. So, I just want to say to Mike Matei, really quick, that the fucking flat panel Vizios now with the component, it's like having a fucking CRT mic, and, and it's like even hey, clearer. Hey, the, the colors, they did it, dude. This is for Mike. I'm gonna... Oh, God, you're manic as fuck. I can't do anything, man. I'm just having fun. Yes, you are. I know. And you're annoying. You're annoying, Ray. I'm annoying you. I'm annoying her. And I just got, you know. You haven't shut up all day. Okay. So here we it's go. It's been a mile a minute all day. Okay. We had a great day fucking. It. And I want to use this and, and, and eat her out and make her come. Good thing I ate before this video. Because this is enough to put me off my food. I, now I'm off sex. You ever heard of a panty dropper? This guy will put a lock and key on your fucking panties. See you later, guys. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, God, I hate that son of a bitch. I hate both of them. Oh, my God. Can you get any more fucking disgusting? Any more fucking disgusting? Jessica Intervention. Kratos. Hey, Irv ruined his own life. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what girl world is? Wait, hold on. What are you drinking? What is that? Moonshine? Or Snooky? Did you pick that out? Or did somebody send yeah, it? Sent it? What a girl world, Jessica's mentioned them. I bully <laughs> Jessica all the time and I'm fucking sick of it. Jessica Messica's the worst. Dude. Jessica Messica's the worst. <laughs> well, she is uh she yeah, she's kind of girl worldy. I think she kinda like she covered um Jessica na naked and laughing before even y'all hung out. Like she's just I don't know, a streamer or something like that. <laughs> Why don't you like Jessica Massica? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Why am I not watching this? Hold on, Solo Leo. Boom! <laughs> oh, look at you! It's your fancy. <laughs> uh, what do you got there? A fucking sun kissed with the fucking old Smokey? Oh, mm -hmm. gross. Oh, yeah, dude. Where do you even find sun kissed oh, mango? I never see that at the store, dude. It's delicious. It's not a girly martini, dude. Did you see that fucking pour, dude? That was a good fucking pour. It was no joke. All right, I'm gonna make a drink with you. Josh, I haven't talked to him forever. Jessica was streaming at the very same time and got very jealous and angry. Nothing duster. <laughs> So maybe I would like full attention sometimes. So if he's giving her full attention, why would I want to fucking watch that? Make that make sense. I don't need this. Okay, good for him. I don't need to know the reason why he got two thousand fucking dollars. Well, fuck. I'm sorry that I'm struggling for money, and then everyone says, "Oh, I'm a gold digger. I'm this. I'm that." And then they want to say, "Oh, he got two thousand dollars because oh, he has his freedom back now for me." And oh, it's like so fucking hilarious. And fuck. I know I'm not good enough. So stop talking about it then. This isn't the. Go talk about it over at her channel. Thank you. Go over there. I don't need... Why are people here anyways? You're looking at a blue wall. All right, can can we please stop talking about this? I'm not going over there. I'm not watching it. So can we please stop? 
okay, good. He's giving her full attention. Oh, good. That, that's fucking great. Good. Just what I need to read. No, I don't want to go over there and watch the fucking shitty comments. You know what, Jessica? You need to stop paying these people any mind. Period. You need to stop paying these people any mind. Because they're doing it just to piss you off. And huffing that duster is not doing you any favors, my dear. Facts. No, I don't. I don't need to fucking read that about someone else. I don't want to fucking go watch it. I don't need to see shitty yeah, comments because someone's already fucking sent me a screenshot. And I've already read the fucking shitty comments. I don't need to fucking go over there. No, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Have a good night, everyone. All right. So, okay. Let's get serious for one second. Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm content. Yeah. Well, that's good. I want you to be fucking I'm content. I'm my apartment, but I've got a new place. I'm not going to say when I'm moving out. Or no, when. I know. So, what do you think it is? You think it's trolls? Yeah, the trolls have been bullying the conquistadors nonstop for like the last five fucking six years. And the new owners had enough of it. They just, we got some new owners. Yeah. And the YouTube trolls are leaving a bunch of bullshit reviews on the Google reviews. Yeah. And the new owners were not aware of the whole situation. They were mortified. Exactly. Okay. And they were doing like the trolls were doing false neighbor complaints too. On top of it. False okay. Complaints. Well, so all right, maybe that's why what you just said there. Because remember the prior owners before, guys yeah. were like sending a bunch of Google reviews and like, dude, they were way cool. They were just like, you know, that person doesn't live here. I'm whatever you're saying. Now. How long is it like? How long has it been since there's been a new owner? I'm not sure to be honest, but I don't have any problems with anyone up here at the Conquistadors. It's a lovely apartment complex. Oh, and I'm gonna miss living up here. So, do you think because, like, recently, dude, that you've blown the fuck up on the internet that that's why, like, more people are calling and making reviews and shit? No idea, to be honest. Courtney Knight, um, ask him if he and Nal are engaged. We are not. We are not. He just bought her a fucking moon rock, which is a dank ass fucking ring, dude. It's beautiful. That's fire opal, yes. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I love rocket dogs, dogs, more money. I love rocket dogs. Oh, no shit. When'd you get them? Here in town. I said when, though. Like recent? Just today, as a matter of fact. But I definitely got a place. I'm not saying how big it is or when I'm moving out or where I'm moving to. But it will be here in town. That's all I'm saying. Is it? Cobes has got blinders on. He really does. He doesn't understand that Jessica is the problem. Point blank. She's the fucking problem. When is he going to have that post nut clarity? Because he's had experience with girls before. Because Jessica's going to do nothing but ruin his life. Is it closer to downtown, dude? I want you to be closer to downtown again. Oh, not really, no. I miss that, dude. I miss you going out in, like, the fucking wild and shit. So, all right, what's the date that you're going there? I don't have to discuss that. Yeah, don't. I know. Shut up, Courtney. You're the worst. So... Um, are you going, did, um, you're going to, you're just going to go rent though, right? You're not buying anything? Tell me to show well, I, I got something bought. Yes. Yeah, just waiting patiently. That's all I'm going to say on that. This is so exciting. I will be able to smoke in my new place, too, but only in my YouTube room. Yeah, because it's your place, dude. That's why. It's your place. That's fucking awesome, dude. Every time they've gotten me kicked out of places, I've gotten into bigger and bigger spaces. Yeah. Yep. As much as I was bummed, like, dude, when you lost the last place, dude, you've upgraded to a good place, though. You know? Yeah. It, was, it wasn't bad. Oh, God. 
See, you're already making one before I am. Come on. All right, you gonna do a fucking drink combo? No, it's Ooh, smoking mango. Oh, oh, smoky white line then. Oh, oh, smoky. That stuff is going to rot his liver if his river isn't already rotted. Some cold kiss. It's a girlfriend ring, people. Calm down. Everybody thought you were going to get married, dude. Jessica told me she's never had a man buy her jewelry before. So you bought her a ring because of that? No, because I wanted to make her feel pretty and special. You're a good boy. Very sweet. Do you guys? So you guys get along good, dude? To you have yes. Mm -hmm. How did you first meet Jessica? Through the internet. Did you meet her because, um, like, did somebody tell you about her? No, she reached out and texted me because uh, someone was fucking with my phone. And she helped me fix it. That's awesome. So how long, how long were you guys talking before you she uh, decided to go out there, and, like visit you? Now you in a month. Was it cool? Like uh, you guys were talking, like FaceTiming, engaging, and shit. Remember Gothy? Uh, I know, but that that went a little crazy, right? Gothy got a little nuts. I, I like Gothy still. I still like Gothy. I got a little fucking nuts, dude. Is she okay with you having female friends? <laughs> like me? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's fine with it. As long as I don't cheat on her. She lives close to me. She's in uh, Virginia. So, yeah, she's super close to me. What if me and Nal go and hang out? I need to highlight that one. Uh, no, she isn't, Josh. She's going to be mad at you for this. No, she's fucking not. Yeah, she fucking is. She's raging right now, buddy. She's super cool with uh, fangirl Kate and I are fucking peas and carrots, dude. And she's good with fangirl Kate. And she's a close friend of yours, dude. So she's good well, with that. I'm doing with you instead of doing a little live stream. Yeah. And I stream with her all the time. So it's not like that's on her channel to help her channel grow. Yep. Know. Yeah, she well, I know she's lost a couple channels recently, but hopefully she'll get not gonna be mad at me after she's got that fucking ring today, dude. Fuck off. Is she do you ever ever have intentions of her like living with you or moving with you? Not living with me at the moment, no, but she does want to move to Casper. Really? <laughs> she wants to get her own place and move to Casper so she can be closer. Jessica absolutely adores Casper, Wyoming. She's she just, does? Good. She's like, it's a really pretty town. And I'm like, she sees what I see, you know. Yeah. Did you guys go out places and shit? Oh, fuck yeah, we did. Um, Josh, do, all right. I'm not sure how she's going to do that, but she's just going to have to figure it out. Does what? she, um, what does she do? Does she, like, work, or does she uh, have, like, hobbies or shit like that? She does reselling at the moment. She doesn't have a job. Reselling is an income, though, for sure. You guys are fucking crazy. So, Josh, like, all during this, like, shit with Jessica and shit, I've gotten so many people that, like, tag me or message me, and they just say fucked up shit. And I'm like, dude, I just want Josh to be happy. That's all. That's all I care about. And I'm not a fucking, you know, like, dude, you can make your own choices in life and shit like that. You fucking dig this girl. You love this girl. You bought her a ring. Y'all need to fucking chill out, dude. Just, it is what it is, man. Like, that's it. Buying her a ring was a big mistake. She's going to expect more now. And, it's, and as she keeps coming and staying with you, it's just going to get worse. It will. Oh, sorry, guys. It's just going to get worse. Damn guarantee it. I damn guarantee it. She really showed her ass this time. And she's really, really going to show her ass next time. 
Like, and the, yeah, comments like you, oh, Micah, oh, Mayhem. Her trolls and my trolls have all been trying to break us apart. I think and so. All I can do is just keep trying. Yeah, I think so, dude. Whoop. I'm clicking on you. Would you end Ozzy to end sickos, dude? I would. And I love Ozzy Osbourne to death. I would take a bullet for that man. I'm going to tell you that I think fucking Ozzy would probably respect that, dude. For sure. But kids are more precious than rock and roll, to be honest. I've always said that it's the truth. Nell wants to move into Kobe's house. I'm sorry, guys. That, like, shot out of this fucking chat. I couldn't click on it. I doubt she fucking said that. She literally said she wants to get her own place. Mm -mm. Jessica's flipping out about, uh, the fuck about this stream right now. No, she's not. You stop it right now. She's fucking not. Okay, good. He's giving her full attention. Oh, good. That, that's fucking great. Good. Just what I need to read. Has she ever come on a panel with some like with you? She's she's welcome to come up here, Josh, if she wants to. Yeah, send her the link on the Facebook. She on the Facebooks? Put it in private chat, Josh. Can you put in private chat her link or something? Or just send her the link. Oh my god, I'm super scared. I don't want her to get mad at me. I'm, I'm super scared about her. Jessica's a little Spitfire lookout. I know she is. I don't want her to come out of here and want to fight. I'm not that far from her. So maybe she can show up here. Like, Spitfire? Spitfire? She's a fucking beast is what she is. She is. She's a fucking beast. She's a destructive fucking beast. She's like a plague of fucking locusts. But she doesn't consume. She just destroys. I mean, how much shit did she tear up this last time? I mean, really, come on now. Come on now, Cobes. You can't be living that far in denial. You don't break shit that much. She breaks shit. I mean, you are so far in denial, it is unreal. Pull your head out of the sand, dude. Later. You want to fight me? Oh, ooh. what's up, Harry Bootle? God, beef, whatever it is. She's just not going to be fucking mad about me hanging out with a friend on YouTube, especially after I just go to that fucking fire opal ring. Pork me or get your boy. Like something everybody off with. She's not fucking mad. You guys are freaking me out. You guys get me all hyped up reading that fucking goddamn side chat. I'm not gonna My look. trolls are so fucking stupid. I'm not gonna look. No, they're not trolling. I'm not gonna look. They're not trolling. So, Just like, dude. Oh my god. So I remember when she was coming over, dude, and you and I were fucking talking. It was crazy, Josh. It was crazy that she was coming to your house. And you were all excited. And remember you did the fucking Bond tactical bathe down? So, all right, hold on. Okay, you don't don't tell me anything that or whatever. Everybody that you shouldn't tell me. But all right, so what happens? She knocks on your door. Yeah, you do. I love the smell of my soap. <laughs> so you knock. She does. She knock on the door, or were you waiting outside? She knocks. She might have knocked on the door. She might have just called me and said she was outside my apartment. And you went out there. Yeah. Did you guys hug? Yeah, I gave her the biggest hug the first time I seen her, and she just sat there like, you do smell good. How did you feel? Was it exciting? Well, it, it's definitely interesting, because I haven't had a girlfriend in, like, the last six years, so oh. it's taking me a minute to adjust to it. Okay. Were you nervous? Not really, no. I had my tactical self, and I kept my cool. <laughs> okay, so what did you do? All right, so she. Oh, my apartment's clean. I got tactical soap. My fridge is stocked with goodies and her favorite Red Bull. Yeah. I think we're good. That's so awesome. All right, so she, does she. So you got her. Fucking sheets before she came over and the bedding and all that, you know? Of course. You need to fucking do that, dude. Get your fucking goddamn fucking snots off the fucking sheets, for sure. Did you know when you met her, though, that, like, it felt right, right? Like, Felt good. It takes me to be honest. 
Oh my God. She's old enough. She likes to drink. We both like snakes. We both that. like to smoke pot. Her favorite <laughs> color is green. She used to work at Wendy's and she was going through a six year sexual dry spell before she met me as well. So that's kind of a trip. Okay. Yeah, I'm aware of that. The people are going to lie to Jessica to make her mad. And she takes it way too seriously, and I'm working with her on that. That's not a bad thing, because I used to be just like Jessica in that respect. I get way too fucking, like... And I'm like, it's people on the fucking internet who gives a shit what their opinion is. Yeah. That, that's just the attitude you gotta have anymore. Right. It, man. I like friends who fucking message me and go, Cobra, I'm going to a dry spell too. How do you fucking deal with it? I'm like... It's a mental thing. You just kind of say it's not a need, it's a want, and I don't need it to be happy. And yep. A lot of chicks want to fuck me, but they're afraid because of my trolls and because I have my character flaws, like anyone else. Do you think now that like you have a girlfriend that these fucking these people are going to come out of the woodwork and be like, you know, other fangirls are going to be like, I'm going to be like her? Maybe. I'm sorry, could you bloody rephrase that question again? I didn't. I was grabbing another sun kiss. Have you noticed that, like, girls are, have, like, uh, sparked an interest in you because of Jessica? That's what it feels like. I mean, like, normally, like, I do get fangirls that come out of the woodwork, but when I got chicks that see I'm literally on a date with Jessica trying to enjoy mm -hmm. sushi with her and a friend. Because Jessica. Particular. You know, why is it that guys that don't get any at all or don't haven't had any for a long time when they finally get some they think every woman in the world fucking wants them no cobes no you're a little boglum and your girlfriend is a bog beast moment to come up and go are you king cobra can i get a photo it's like yeah am i taking a photo just don't be grabbing at my cross in front of my woman or anything you know i want to meet jessica so do you think i'll mention her to you and like you know I'm she's scared she's in my uh friends friends list you should like send her a link Oh my god. Like, yeah, I don't want to hate you, know, dude. Quickly explain that you're a Bjork fan as well and you just want to get to know Jessica and you know yeah. have fun with her. I don't she doesn't really have, have that many really that many friends in life and she could use more, so that would be really sweet. Uh, that's I was gonna say, like obviously, you know, does she have like a good close circle of friends or no, from what she told me Jessica doesn't really have any friends. That's why she goes on the internet because she's seeking companionship beyond just a boyfriend and yeah. her parents. You know, I, I get that. How you doing? Yeah. Kristen says, Have you seen clips? So Kristen, I have completely avoided all things of Josh and shit right now. And you guys can fucking judge me being a weirdo about it, but I hate, like, I don't want to watch from afar, like, shit that's going on. Especially, like, edit channels and shit like that. I want to hear it from Josh. Oh, fuck the edit channels. I want to, with Queen Cobra's in the chat right now. Where is she in the chat? Is it the real Queen Cobra or is it some impersonator? I don't, because I can't. I'm supposed not to do that crap. They will impersonate my friends and my family and fans when I'm doing videos and is she watching and chat? Is she sleeping right now, Josh? Or is she? I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. I'm not her babysitter, you know? <laughs> oh, she's watching. What's up, low battery? Because I do care about her. If I didn't fucking care, I wouldn't send her. You know what's so crazy to me, Josh, right now? I can read side chat right now, and there's so many fucking girl world people in side chat. Like, the crossover is insane, Josh. Oh, like, I got her some Taco Bell Cantina chicken items earlier. A regular you bought her for dinner? Yeah, I buy her dinner when I can afford it. That way she don't got to cook and her and her family are fed. I have nothing to be jealous of as far as Jessica is concerned. Even though I'm overweight, I'm still better looking. I'm healthier and I'm sober. I have my mind.
and I'm smarter. And I stopped playing her little games when I was in my 20s. You know, when I started having kids. This bitch has got nothing to worry about other than her fucking self and she can't even take care of her fucking self. She lives with her mommy and daddy. She is what the old timers would call a spinster. Yes, Jessica Messica trolls the fuck out of Jessica, my girlfriend, and it's disgusting. Shame on you. Hold on. We got a call. Mute it. You want to in the desert? Mute it. Mute. I'll mute you right here. Hold on. Guys, the words, Jessica. Don't fucking troll him. Don't be salty about you being on a panel. Does she care about you being on panels and shit? She didn't say that. She just said, read my message. And she says, I care not to join Courtney's stream because of all the comments and all the negativity. Because social media is, it is yeah. toxic to a point. Yeah, you, know, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, you're literally having a crap day, so you take it out on some random stranger on the internet because you're pissed off at the world. Yeah, that's what people fucking do, dude. You're not having a bad day, you know what I'm saying? That's what they fucking do, dude. Jessica is a hateful bitch, so people are hateful to her. She is. She's a fucking hateful bitch. She's even fucking hateful to you. What, do you not have eyes? Do you not have ears? She's even hateful to herself. She is one hateful fucking beast. She is. She's fucking hateful. That's all I got to say about that. Chess, what happened with some footage about a cat? I don't know anything about it, but I guarantee you it's all overly projected bullshit. Hey, Carrie, hi. I know Jessica loves her cats, and I think people are just going to, like, take whatever they see and, like, try to, like, oversell it, you know, like, oh, did you see what Jessica did? And it's like, shut up. Yeah, well, d does any did anybody clip it, or are they trying to fucking project that did something that didn't happen that way? Yeah, they clipped it, and they're, like, trying to over overly project it kind of thing, yeah. All right. Well, Jessica Mesica, I will. You can post that link. Like Jessica Mesica is literally fucking obsessed with my girlfriend, and it's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, it's she's watched her prior to you. Yeah. It is not. No, it's not obsession. It's pointing at her fucked up behavior. There's a fucking difference. If naked and laughing lost her fucking internet. She wouldn't know what the fuck to do with herself. Jessica Messica, I would be willing to wager, has a fucking life. Not healthy, dude. <laughs> That's one thing I like about dating my girlfriend is she totally gets trolling and how people are fucking assholes. Most yeah. women wouldn't know how to put up with it because most women haven't experienced it. But we can't discuss it so much as fucking scream, you know. So, have you talked to Jessica Mesca ever? Have you interacted with her? No, I haven't. And no, she's not a fucking sicko. Fuck sickos. It's fucking. Maybe it's the fake Jessica Mesica. Might be real. I don't know. 
some problems, but that's because she's been like mentally abused her entire life. It's obvious somebody hurt her. It's obvious something was done to her somewhere. I can feel that. You know how I know something was done to me. But that's no excuse. It's okay not to be okay for a while. It is. But it's not okay to stay that way. I say again. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. It's not okay to stay that way. Sooner or later, you've got to pull yourself together. Because the world is not going to stop turning. And things still have to be done. And I had little human beings depending on me. So I had to pull it together quick. And I couldn't let them see the anguish. By who? Like her family or parents? Like people can only take so much before their mind starts doing things. Have you, like Jessica, does, like, does she have a good relationship with her family and her parents and stuff? I would hope she has an amazing relationship no, with her parents. No, uh, right. You know, I don't want to speak on that because it's none of my business. Yeah, 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 for sure. Jessica, if you're watching this, Courtney's a Bjork fan like you are. You two get yeah, off. Yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> the way I coped with my first bout with trauma was not taking care of myself. And that's how I cope the second time. I remember walking into a Dollar General store. I remember I was smelling something. And then I realized it was me. I couldn't believe that I went out like that. I was so embarrassed and ashamed. And I vowed I wasn't going to do that ever again. That if I didn't have enough respect for my horrible self to take care of myself, that I wasn't going to inflict that upon anybody else. My anger always turns inward. I don't know why. But it always turns inward. <laughs> For sure. Let me see Courtney's like blue cat. It looks just like the one you miss. Do you? So does Jessica Mesco wants to come on here? Do you want to talk to this girl? Not really, because I don't want to deal with the other half getting mad about it. Yeah. I'm not going to talk to her arch enemy about it, dude. That's between those two. So, I don't want to get involved. Jessica, me and you. <laughs> Oh, I want we'll fucking gas. <sighs> we'll just breathe heavy, Jessica. Listen, we'll just breathe heavy. It'll just be like me and you just tussling in the fucking street together. I'll like, <sighs> I'm like, Jessica, I just gotta take a break. I need to get a Newport. <sighs> like, if you want to talk to her uh, when I'm not on camera with you, that's your choice. But like, I'd rather not have her on panel with me right now. 
Yeah. Cobra Angel RU says, Courtney, did you hear the audio of their last fight? That is some messed up shit. There's audio of your last fight? Because one of my fucking fans called me and Jessica answered my phone and she was drunk. That's pretty much how that went. Okay. And I asked her, why the fuck are you answering my phone? I don't go through your phone without permission. Like, I'm trying to be a solid boyfriend to her. Okay. I mean, she's so used to, like, being abused and treated like shit. That, like, and that's the thing. Of you know what? I don't hold the sins of other men against my husband. I keep that shit to myself. If I feel there's a concern, I address it like an adult. I will point blank ask him what's going on. And he will give me a truthful answer. He always does. He's the one human being on the face of the planet I know I can trust to give me a truthful answer. He's the only person on the face of the planet that I can trust 90% of the time. 90% is a good percentage. Because no human being is 100% reliable. Maybe a little part of me is still waiting for the other shoe to fall. But, you know, he can be trusted. When I tell him something, if I tell him not to tell anybody, he won't tell anybody. If I'm scared, he'll comfort me. If I'm sad, he'll comfort me. If I'm nervous about whatever it is, like a job interview or whatever, he'll tell me, you know, you know you're going to knock it out of the park. You always do. So. Then I'm just as big a cheerleader for him. And I'm 100% truthful with him. Even if I know it's going to piss him off. Hell, I know that if I t ask him what an outfit looks like, he's going to tell me what it looks like. So I don't walk around looking like an asshole. Of it, I've come to realize is that the people you date create you your you dating behavior patterns to a point. And that's you. nothing against Jessica, but any stretch of the imagination. But like when you're used to being hey boo, long time no see treated like <laughs> shit on a dating scene, you're gonna act a certain way because like mentally you feel like you don't deserve it. Okay, but I just want her to be a good girl to you. Like, she's good to you? Like, she's good? I'm not complaining. Like, okay, so I got kicked out of my apartment. That wasn't her fault. That was my troll's fault. Okay, why was it your troll's fault? Because they called and they were... In the apartment complex I've lived at for the last six years, non-fucking-stop, leaving shitty reviews on Google Review. Nice meeting you. Okay, but, like, they've been doing that for a long time, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's been okay for a It was really nice meeting you, too, Boo. I really enjoyed meeting you. Um, I enjoyed showing you the flea market. And, you know, it was it was really just a... It was just really great meeting you. You know, I like meeting new people. And, you know, it's always good. It's always nice to put a face with 
with a screen name. It really is. A long time. Well, Jessica says, I just came to a head is what it is. You Jessica know? said that he's in a legitimate danger, legally, physically, mentally, with her in his life. Well, his that's life. your opinion. You know, I don't tell you who to fucking date. I no, I appreciate you fucking standing up for her, dude. A lot in common, just fucking let it be by the Beatles. Yeah, no, I appreciate you seeing that for her, but I'm just saying that this is somebody that's watched her for a while that is forming an opinion. And again, the internet, Josh, people will form opinions upon people from afar. That's what I'm saying, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Is I don't know just the the time, dude. Hell, but they do it to me all the time, dude. The doubt and be like, you know what? If me, if me doing her like somehow makes her life a little bit better, then who am I to complain? P says all that. I just want y'all to know that Boo is a total sweetheart. Uh, I met her today, and uh, you know she is the sweetest thing. She really is. For as sweet as she seems online, she is every bit as sweet in person. She really is. Just want y'all to know that. That it was partially her fault, though. How was it her fault, Peace? Heretic says that it was because she was screaming like a banshee. Was she yelling in your apartment, dude? She flooded the washing yeah, room? she was yelling and stomping, but I don't want to get into that. It's don't talk about it, then. Don't talk about it. I have people, Josh, that messaged me on Facebook telling me that I need to save Josh. I need to save Josh. I need to get involved and save Josh. I'm like, dude, I don't even know who this girl is. I'm like, come on here and fucking save Josh. I have no idea. I have no clue who she is, dude. So Remember the... Remember uh, Chaz, dude? That's like, it's like Chaz times a thousand where people are like, this is a bad person. She can't talk to him. He's She's a bad influence, dude. It, uh, you're growing up. I'm going to own fucking opinions about Jessica based off of what everyone else has fucking said. And that's what's so toxic about the internet. Is you don't want to get to know the person, you know what I'm saying? Granny, have, it, have her send it. Can she send it to you? <laughs> Rarely do I ever say this about the internet. In this particular case, the internet is correct. She's toxic as fuck. She's a bitch. She is incapable of controlling herself. Even, even slightly. She's a danger to herself and she's a danger to you, Cobes. Take it from a middle-aged woman that has been there. Okay? I've been there. You're in a heap of trouble, son. You got a tiger by the tail and you don't even know it. I don't want to see nothing happen to you. You're too good a kid. <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts. Jessica threatened Josh with a machete. Did she threaten you with a machete? No, she did not. She was threatening someone else. Oh my god. You people guys. like to fuck with her nonstop. Like they like to fuck with me. And, you know? Yeah. That's the thing of it. I don't expect to have a supermodel, you know. I see what I look like. Jessica's always going off about how ugly she is. And I'm like, honey, I've seen worse looking women. Ask Josh what he thinks about Nal's cam videos. Does she have any cam vids? Yeah, Jessica used to be a cam model, like a chatterbait type model. And honestly, I don't care. Everything I in my life is a saga, and it gets so irritating out of, out of points. Lucky Lipper with Nick safe. Yeah, he does. He's just like Mountain Dew. Jessica loves gray cats, Josh. Not a sponsor. Jessica would be beating Josh if she's in cat. Why do you guys keep saying that? Is she aggressive, Josh? No, she's not aggressive. You're lying. Josh, you're lying. Quit lying. 
Don't lie for her. She's super aggressive. Now, I am an aggressive person. But I'm only aggressive when I need to be. When it's a have-to thing. It is possible to put that genie back in the bottle. It took me a while after I come home. But I did manage to put her back it put that screaming banshee back in the bottle where she belongs. And I got her corked up and she ain't coming out unless I need her. That's a fact. Inside me is a beast that I keep locked away. A beast that was brought out by bad circumstances. And she served a purpose. She has no place in the civilian world. So I stuffed her back in a bottle. And put her away. And it took me a good long time to do it. Jessica is suffering from so some sort of PTSD. I think. That is my opinion. I'm not diagnosing. And she's punishing herself. Over and over and over and over and over again. And she's punishing everybody around her. Which is incredibly sad. But angering at the same time. Because Josh is now going to be one of her victims. I mean, this is a serious thing. This is not funny. This is not even the same zip code as funny. And he's too pig-headed to, un to understand it. Why do they keep saying that? I have no idea. Because when she was drunk, she was like pushing me and smacking me. With the Did you get into a fight? Like physical? This thing right here, the puff toy. No, we didn't get into a fight. We resolved it like mature adults. Okay. She's not aggressive. Okay. Like, what are you going to call aggressive? How, how are you going to define aggressive? Like it's this versus, you know what I'm saying? No. People don't know the whole story. They don't need to know the whole story. Does Jessica smoke butts? Does she smoke cigarettes? No, she doesn't. But when she gets drunk enough and she's in the mood, I want her to smoke a cigarette with me before. She did? Yeah, right. but she's not. She'll smoke closed cigarettes on occasion. Which, that, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. All right, hold on. Jessica Messica. Hold on, I saw Jessica Messica. Courtney, check your most recent email. Okay. I'm going I'm on it myself. I never painted Jessica Messica as somebody who just dumps fucking, like, lies on the internet and shit like that. And I feel like that she has, like, a, a bit of a gauge to be... Like, she's not, like, the normal girl world person. I don't want you, Josh, to take offense towards these ladies that are worried about you they could be uh, ladies that well it looks like i forgot to make it a members only stream so i'll make the members only stream tomorrow if that's okay with you guys um sorry about that i fucked up i goofed i got in a hurry and wasn't thinking um but you did get alive at least uh 
sorry, my head's just been kind of a mess. I've had a lot of things to ponder and I'm really nervous and I'm just, I'm nervous about this job interview. And I want to do a good job. You know, it's not that I doubt myself. It's just, this is a real job. I haven't had a real job since Macy's. And I was at Macy's over a year. And I loved that job. But I couldn't in good conscience put up with any more of that shit. When I got cussed out over not having dress bags because uh, the person in charge of order, ordering in their infinite wisdom didn't have, didn't order any or couldn't get any. I flipped the hell out. And went off on someone and got fired. I'd had enough. I had been overworked. And I had had two rude customers before them. And people have a habit of being rude in that store. Well, why didn't my application get approved? I don't know. Call us 800 number. Why did my check not get accepted? I don't know. Call the 800 number. Why didn't my card go through? I don't know. They kicked it back. And the worst was when I had to work in petites. Them old biddies. I'm a petite. Well, I'm a petite too, but you know, I don't make a big deal out of it. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and I got dimples on my ass too. You want to know about those? Yes, I did. I appreciate that everyone cares about me. Yes, I'm saying like these are like ladies that have either watched you or recently came into the community and they're like, you know what? I don't fucking feel so good about this and whatever. So they had six. Oh that's the thing of it. They had six years to make their move. Jessica was the one that made the move. I know, but I'm saying it's not even like you make him real. Like maybe it's like Jessica Messica. I don't know. She just she's just looking out for you. I don't know. I don't I think she's bad. Between Jessica Messica and my girlfriend Jessica, so like. I don't want to get into it. I, just, I know. I don't blame you for that. No, for sure. Much of my life. For sure. But what I'm saying, though, is that too, Josh, I'm maybe, maybe, Jessica, I'm dating her. That's just how it is. Maybe you could get Jessica Messica and your Jessica to, like, talk. And, like, maybe she That's could. That's probably not going to happen. And I don't want to, like, force that. Or, like, sure? I know. Jessica feel uncomfortable or, like. Gets her out of her comfort zone, then it's just not going to happen. Now, already said she was talking, taking Cobes Clock Tower money. Shut up, Pat. No, she's oh, not, I'm, dude. I will, boo. Like, what do y'all think? You guys have some weird intentions that you think that Naked and Laughing is trying to take Josh's money or trying to find a new home to live in or trying to get out of her not situation? trying to do anything. She's not taking anything. She's just trying to find herself. She's been abused her entire life mentally and at times physically. Okay, now it's time for the commercial. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out when you do. So reach down, give that subscribe button a little tickle, and slap that like button on the way out. 
Oh, and I have memberships starting at $1.99. That'll get you in on the Bad After Dark members only action that gets live, loud, and raunchy. And raunchy. I said raunchy twice because I like it getting raunchy. Also, always believe in yourself. And I will be getting a P.O. box sometime this month. So, uh, I will be posting a P.O. box so I can send, I, you know, if you want to send a letter or, you know, a Christmas card or anything like that, you, you're able to do that. Um, or if you want me to send you something or a handwritten note or something, I can do that. You know, that, I'm, that's, that's in the works. And uh, remember, folks, subscribing is always free. Subscribing is always free. Clee, and she's just trying to find herself and do her thing like we all are. And that's she, hard when you face mental challenges. Josh, is she peeing a cardboard box? What are they saying? She did do that when she was really drunk and hanging out in her attic and she didn't want to like go downstairs right. and use the toilet. Time for a poll. But I'm like, you know what? She ain't hurt nobody. She's doing her thing. Now this is a serious question. Because I've been off the wacky tobacco for about a week. Are 420 streams more fun or nah? Are they not? Okay, you were alone. You know, like they're looking out for you and they're. Yeah, I appreciate that people are overly protective of me, to be honest. It shows that I got people in my life who give a shit. Yeah. I'm like my YouTube trolls who have nobody and their life sucks. And then on top of that, the person they hate has all the things they wish they had. Yep. And that's why they attack me for it. Gia <laughs> says that does Cobra want to have a child with Jessica? <gasps> you paused. You paused. I paused? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Joshua Face Wonders. Do you want to have babies? No, I don't want to have babies. <laughs> I don't want to start a family until I build my clock tower dream house. Okay, what if you have a clock tower tomorrow? You have a fucking goddamn baby. I'm getting a call from Jessica. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Two AK. I hate seeing animal. Oh, hold on. Somebody just said that. Animal abuser, you guys, if you fuck so the trolls, I'm not answering any more questions about Jessica. All right, so let me ask you this, and maybe it'll be the last thing that incorporates Jessica. So, do you feel oh god, I can't read these comments, Josh? Do you think that, like, uh, you're not settling, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not, no, settling. I'm not settling, I haven't had a girlfriend in six years. It's not about settling. It's just about dating and seeing where it goes. You know, if anyone else in my position, they would understand. It's like, you have no idea what it's like to crave cuddling a female that's of age, alive, cisgendered. Cobes, she's taking this way more seriously than you are. I'm just saying, dude. Do not lead this girl on. She will go psycho on you. Non-related, etc. Fuck sickos. And then you don't get it for six fucking years. Knowing that the YouTube trolls will just scare off every chick that you try to date. 
So you hope for the next one that doesn't get scared off. And I'm not saying she will get scared off. I'm not saying anything. But that's just my perspective. People are sitting there fucking getting me kicked out of my flats. And fucking scared off chicks that I'm trying to hang with. And it's stupid. Because they don't have their own flat. And they can't get girlfriends. It's been all day hating Cobra. Um, oh my god. So, do you think at any point, Josh, though, that, like, you, uh, you and Jessica hung out, like, a long time together, though. You were, you were with each other a long time. You're super defensive, though, about um, her behavior by saying... I've been with her, like, since February 9th, and mm -hmm. I'm prepared to defend her as much as I can. Okay. And I guarantee you, Jessica doesn't abuse her cats. The people are just going to take what she says. That's fucking bullshit. Did anybody see what happened with the cat? I heard about, I heard bits and pieces, but I didn't hear the whole thing. So I, I don't know what happened and I can't comment on it. But I heard something happened with the cat or what she does when she's drunk out of context. Okay. So, what are you assuming? Have you seen anything they're talking about? Like, what are they talking about? No, I haven't fucking seen what the fuck they're talking about. No, I don't watch anything either. I, I do this. I don't. Exactly my point. I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I don't care. I don't care that Jessica's mouth is probably bullshit. So, that's just the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? All right, I get scared. So here's the thing, Josh, is that you know that like your community knows like the trigger point for me is to like talk to me about cats. So Jessica it, fucking loves her cats. Only in Saudi or her. Okay. Team. So there's nothing that like she's ever done on the internet. No, not that I'm aware of. Well, there's like one or two people I trust on the internet. Maybe one's Kristen. Um, honestly, Trust me, she's got six cats. She loves cats. Okay, so I think you're good. Okay. Okay. And my troll sitting there saying, and that's the thing of it. My YouTube troll said that the ring I got her was an engagement ring, and that she said it. And as soon as I went to her community page, it didn't say anything about engagement, kind of thing. So that's what she said. She's like, hey. Yeah, you pretty know, much. Yeah, my boyfriend gave me a ring. A ring. She never said that. Okay. One asshole who said it was an engagement ring was just trying to fucking troll her. Yeah, you know, it, it that, maybe that fire opal. Fire maybe, opal is fucking gorgeous. For sure. Right. Like maybe you like you can look at Charles's comment and he said, "Congratulations on your engagement," and it got pinned though. Yeah, that right. comment got deleted because I'm like, it's a girlfriend ring. I know, but I mean, why she? Why is she? I have no idea that Jessica has never had a boyfriend that buys her jewelry. That's actually kind of sad. So, all right. So, that's in that's her defense, she she was, she was excited about it, and that's why she pinned it, right? That's why she showed it off. She never said there was an engagement ring. Okay. She so, just said it was a ring that her boyfriend bought her. She didn't say it was engagement. Yeah, she just pinned it though, right? You're just showing it off because that's what chicks do when you got that bling, you know what I'm saying? Some They keep saying that she, like, punched her cat, dude. Why do they keep saying that? I don't know why the fuck they're saying it. I'm pretty sure she didn't. You know, I don't know. I don't know the whole story, so I don't want to make assumptions. Then yeah. create more drama. That's what they do. Yeah, no, for sure. They want people to fucking have assumptions. So it creates more drama and it's fucking retarded. Like, so, all right. Like, hypothetically, though, like, if you ever saw her being abusive to a cat, would it, like, be a game changer a little bit? Yes, it would be, to okay. be honest. If I saw her abusing animals, they'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. It'd be but I don't, honestly, I don't think she was doing that. I think the people are just taking what she did when she was drunk and twisting it to try to, like, create drama kind of thing. I recognize that stream. She was doing her thing thing for my recent <laughs> drink combo that I delivered to her. Her house looks funny. Like, her house looks like fun behind her. She got, like, fucking plants and shit.
Oh, wow. You okay. see it, Courtney? She got oh, cats. Like Look at you. You two would get along for quite a few pieces. Good. Now. That's awesome. One second. <coughs> Something bad going to happen? I'm Jessica is not a cat abuser. You can clearly see she loves her Thank cat. Thank you for the headbutt, Sally. Thank you. People are fucking Thank disgusting you. assholes. I love you. He just wiped snot on my... Uh, he just rubbed me right here and bit me on the wrist. Ollie. That's what they do. They mark you. Why? Oh, yes, you don't like that. You don't like... Everyone keeps saying that, like one twenty four thirty. She does something. Please, your fucking claws. Here, let's get the blankie on the back of your claws. She's not doing anything, I dude. Not for fucking you. assholes. You're fine. You're fine. I guarantee you, nothing happened. People are just trying to fucking like make it into a bigger deal than it is. Yeah, they said like uh one twenty four thirty. So she does something. Y'all said that she punched this cat, dude. Like, y'all said that she punched a cat. I don't think she would punch a cat, to be honest. I don't see. All right, 145 now? Y'all are fucking killing me right now, dude. Y'all are full of shit. She never punched no cat. Oh, the cat the um, he... loves the right, 144.50. Eat shit. Let's go. Eat shit. Exactly. I trust you, Jessica Mesco. Let's do it. We're here. Right the fuck point. I love fuck it. Jessica, Mastica, where's the proof? They all are saying that there's some fucking shit that's gonna happen right now. I've watched so much of this broad. She just fucking sits in her room, dude. I was just petting you. Dude. And don't pet him. I highly doubt that Jessica would intentionally smack her cat. Are you out for blood? Like you want to me. me. I don't want you near me. I think oh! I don't want you near me. She wasn't abusing it. Yeah, she was just up by her mind, mind, dude. Enough, so you gotta be she shouldn't stress the cat though like that, though, dude. Uh, you're That's fucking it. lucky I had a sweater on, dude. I, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. She wasn't abusing the cat. She was picking it up by its scruff and going, okay, that's how you're going to be. Well, then you can get off of me. And she, she didn't throw it off aggressively. She okay. Didn't, on shit or like, oh, you should <laughs> push the blood, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are stupid. All right, guys. How many times has Meatball put her claws in me? How many times during a stream? In my back, in my legs, my arm. And I don't react that way. I just tell her to get down, push on her butt, and make her go down. That's all I do. I nudge her butt and make her make her get down. I don't hit her. I don't scruff her. I just nudge her butt and make her go make her get down. She doesn't like it, but that's what I do. She's going to bite me and hurt me. She can, and she's overstimulated. She needs to go somewhere else until she can calm down. You don't scruff your cat like that. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. You could hurt your cat. Why did I do that? That was so dumb. I X'd out of it. Exactly, Sunnyside. 
Exactly. Older cat though, Josh, too. Well, the difference is though with Josh is that the fact that I am invading. And that shit fucking hurts. And cats do that sort of thing when they're overstimulated. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is when she does it. She's overstimulated. Cats do get overstimulated at times. And when they're overstimulated, you stop petting them. And when a cat gives you a little nibble, that means they don't want to be touched. And if you keep doing it, they're going to bite you harder. Until they get the point across. Like Meatball, right now she's laying behind me sleeping. And she's purring. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think my arms could take it. I've got, I've got scratch marks on the backs of my arms, on my legs. A few on my boobies. But that's the lot of a cat owner. In which they are an animal and how they feel and how they're feeling this right now. Jessica would never abuse her cats. She fucking loves animals. A wild a possum almost crawled into her goddamn kitchen. And she was trying to like pet it because this thing was fatter than the biggest cats I've seen her possess. Shit you not. And all these assholes who want to sit there and be like, Oh, Jessica did this. Jessica did that. No, Joshy, I don't care. It's as much as Joshy, Joshy, don't get upset. I'm not getting upset. Baby, I'm not getting upset. I know you're not. We're not playing crap. We're not playing crap. We're not playing crap like this. Joshy. What's up? What's up? Hey. What is that? I know you're not. I don't care what it is. Let's not play it. If it's involving me and Jessica having a verbal argument, I don't want to play it on YouTube. Is she aggressive to you, though? I draw attention to it. Is she aggressive to you, though? What's that? Is she aggressive to you, though, like that? Yes, she's attractive to me, and she's... Aggressive. Aggressive. To me. And she politely she asked that we quit talking about her on screen. On one of the recent calls, because people are just being the absolute fucking worst. So here's the thing, though, Josh, is that I 1,000% appreciate fucking Jessica not wanting any of us to play these things, right? I get that. But live streams it for the fucking internet, dude. It's it's. I'm not playing anything that's fucking private that nobody needs to fucking see, dude. If she played this fucking internet, dude, like it's something that she put out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I she, get that to a point. That's something we all gotta learn. Like, what you Josh, is she about. aggressive to you that, though? Hey, Mega Omega. I've heard two seconds of it, though. I've heard two seconds all of right, it. Let's check on that pole. Well, if you wanna watch that on your phone. Let's check on the pole. <laughs> pole. <laughs> pole. <laughs> With 18 votes, 72% of you like 420 streams and 27% of you said, no, you don't. With 18 votes. Who are the 27% that are spoil sports? <laughs> God. Just a little high. I just get a little high. <laughs> a stroller, a stroller, and a playpen for a fucking cat. 
a stroller and a playpen for a fucking cat. Yeah, everything's okay if you're drunk and doing it. Because you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that makes perfect fucking sense. Private time, that's fine. But like, I will, for sure. I will, for sure. I don't want any more drama being directed towards I don't them. want you to have fucking drama, Josh. But this is something that like is on the internet though. How'd that happen? Why was that why is that online? Were you recorded a stream? Oh, was she streaming? Was private and then she deleted the stream and the shit got Okay. So I just wanna get a little high. So she was streaming it. Not you, yes. right? No. I was not streaming it. Because you're respectful and you wouldn't stream that shit to the internet. But did she? She kept her live up. Not very respectful to the internet. It's the thing of uh, Jessica was streaming on her channel, and I wanted to. When you were drunk and passed out, though, too, right? Well, I wasn't drunk and passed out. Okay, let me explain, okay. please. Go ahead. Okay, Jessica doesn't have that. Now, a stroller for an old cat makes sense, but a stroller for a young cat does not. You know, I. I don't know. I keep thinking about Chancy, my old outside cat. He was an outside cat up until the day he passed. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. He came in said goodbye to my daughter, goodbye to my grandson, goodbye to my, my husband and me, went into the bedroom and collapsed. And he was gone. It was a shock. He had a heart attack. He was an old man. He was close to 20. And he loved the outside. He loved it. And before he was neutered, there's no telling how many bastard children of his is running around out there. No telling. Something tells me Chancey was around her. <laughs> Making all the little lady cats cry. <laughs> that many subscribers. I don't want to make it about, oh, the King Cobra's here, you know. So I try to, like, stream with her on her channel. And the trolls are fucking with her super hard. And we were both a little bit tipsy. Okay. Hey, and that led to an argument. And I'm like, Jessica, I've been doing this for a long time. This thing on YouTube, you have to just learn to say fuck yep. yourselves. Cause they're not you're experiencing this, them. for sure. You're experienced. You know what the fuck you're talking about, dude, for sure. It's not an insult on her. It's just me giving her friendly advice. Mm -hmm. It's not saying I know this or that. You know, it's not about superiority. It's just about giving her solid advice. Like, if you want to be a YouTuber like King Cobra... And you want to be like, oh, I'm going to make all these videos and do all this content. You have to learn to filter that shit out. If I didn't care, you wouldn't be getting the fast food in the ring and the fucking money for your <coughs> green smoke. 
but we're not going to get into that. And as far as whatever happened between me and Jessica over her last day, that's none of y'all's business. I don't care if she used to do cam shit. Okay. People need to get help. These people need serious fucking help. Josh, is she abusive to you, though, about, like, uh, like the way... No, she's not. Okay. Aww. She's not abusive. She doesn't. No, she's not. She's not abusive. To be honest, the trolls fucking love to start shit, and that makes anyone angry. Can any, anyone who's had to deal with internet trolls? Yes, I uh, listen, dude. I've had crazy people call every employee that I work with and shit on me. I get that. I understand. Jessica is not abusive. I should answer that. Go ahead and answer it. Okay. She's been she's tried. Like she's been in so many abusive. And you can ask Boo. I am exactly the same in person as I am online. I don't put up a front. I'm incapable of it. I am exactly what you see here. Nothing more, nothing less. I behave no differently. I am what I am. A filthy little weirdo. The relationship, she's not used to a sweet guy like me. Josh, I get that, dude. I'm not talking about it. I totally get that, dude. Is that I understand that, but it's not an excuse, though, if she's being fresh to you. She's not being fresh. You should answer that. I'll mute you. Go ahead. No, it's good. You should not. You should answer it, dude. I don't want any fucking drama. That's all. I'm well, muted. Go ahead. Go ahead. Weirdo queen. Oh, I gotta hate you guys for this. Part one was found. Stop playing Jessica shit. Just stop. Stop talking about it on your fucking channel, please. Just stop. Okay. It's giving me anxiety. And I don't want to fucking deal with the fucking repercussions. Okay. Stop! Fucking assholes! Courtney! I'm, I'm stopping it right now. It's gone. Stop it right now. I'm serious. It's giving fucking Jessica anxiety. People are fucking giving her... They're, they're trolling her nonstop because of this crap. Just stop. I don't want him trolling her. I don't want him talking with her. I don't want him fucking with her, dude. I don't need her. I don't, I don't want people you. fucking with Jessica just because she chooses to look past my faults and fuck me. Josh, don't see that though. You just said right there that they're she's she can it's look the fucking truth. Bitch, I don't need permission to talk about you. I'll talk about you any damn time I fucking feel like. Fuck you. And the damn horse she rode in on. I don't give a damn. See, that's just it. I don't give a damn. Period. Try some shit with me. Try it. See how far it takes you. You won't get far. Trust me. Trust me on this. You don't want to become a project. You really don't. Because if I make you a project, you I will have back to back to back to back coverage of you. And you will not like it. Because if you think Carrie goes in on you, oh, I'm a hundred times worse. I only cover you a little here and there. Because I, I quite frankly find you boring. But I'd make a special case in your exception. 
So come over here and start some shit and see how far it fucking takes you. I'll pit my sober mind against your drunk one any day of the fucking week. She can look on her fault. Jessica, they wouldn't fuck with us in the first place. You just said, though, that she looks beyond your faults. And there's that. nothing wrong with that. I'm going bald. I got a beer gut. Oh That's, those are assholes. Those are my faults. She looks past my faults, and I appreciate that. That's not okay, though. That looks for her own. It's something we connect on. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, Courtney. I don't know why you're getting upset about it. Because, Josh, I want good for you, dude. I want you to be yeah, happy. I appreciate that you want good for me, Courtney. I really do. Oh, my God. I'm fucking into this. 666 six, six viewers were... Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm telling you right now, naked and laughing, you come over here and start some shit, you'll regret it. You will regret it. As I am far more harsh than any of your critics. I will pick you apart and leave you in the dust. Facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're a good woman like that. It's 15, amen. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Oh, I don't want to do that. What am I doing that for? Nearly yeeted myself. Okay. Let's find one more thing to watch. Nick Bravo has some new stuff. I don't know why the fuck he's streaming while he's on vacation, but hey, whatevs. Let's do the I Look Like the Unabomber, streamed eight hours ago. This is 30 minutes long. Uh, I think he mentions me in this one. Boring bastard. This is going to be a snooze fest, I can already tell. Ugh. Hello. 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 Anyway. Hi. I'm the Unabomber. No, I'm oh, kidding. God. Hi, I, uh, so I wanted to surprise you guys, um, so actually what I've been doing is uh, we're actually opening a school here in Texas um, to teach, to teach uh, Manosphere and Red Pill retards how to be Unabombers. And uh, uh, I'm going to make the money, I'm going to be, uh, it, it's going to be a whole big thing, a whole big thing. Um, FBI will have no idea what we're doing out here um, because, you know, anyway, we got the CIA, you know, giving us uh, drugs and money and guns. So, I mean, it's it's, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I, I 
do look like I have bug eyes, just like TJ does. Bug eyes. Oh, shut the fuck up. TJ has got more ha has got more masculinity and virility in his little finger than you have in your entire body. And I'm not even attracted to him. He's handsome. He's good looking. But I'm not attracted to him. Because I've got what I'm attracted to. At home. You have no right to criticize anybody's looks, Corky. I've seen you naked. And I got to say, I'm not impressed. You gnome. Oh, and you've got a little penis. Like a fly. You know, I, I would imagine... Well, I'm not going to start with the trolls. Anyway, um, this is... This is uh, it's very windy out here. Very windy. Very windy, and I do not like the wind. And there's Sabella. Uh, Sabella is. Uh, Sabella is being very uh, studious looking at her. She's on vacation and she's looking at her fucking phone. That jacket is dope, though. I love that jacket. Do love that jacket. Too bad it's too small for. Her iPhone. And, uh, I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with it. What is wrong with it? And she's got her face stuck in her fucking phone. Yeah, that's how I would spend my fucking vacation. With my face stuck in my fucking phone. If me and my husband was to go on a go on a road trip or do something fun, do you really think in your heart of hearts I would be thinking about this yutz? Or any of the other idiots that I cover? Fuck no. Hell no. I'm going to be having fun. I'm going to be enjoying myself. I'm going to be too busy enjoying myself to think about him. As a matter of fact, I would take video of the caves and stuff because I want to go to uh, Marengo Cave again. It's cave system here in Indiana. I want to go see it again. And J John's got some vacation and I want him to, we're going to, hopefully take some vacation in June and go see Marengo Cave or, you know, one weekend when he's off, maybe go see Marengo Cave. Oh, 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 there's a gem and mineral show coming up. There's a gem and gem and mineral show coming up and I'm going to take footage and I'm going to show y'all all about it and uh, show you some of the loot that I bring home. Loot, 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 more loot, more crystals, more stuff, more crystals, more crystals, more crystals. Yeah, I love crystals. They just, they just make you feel good when you look at them. You know, I don't know about the healing properties, but, you know, like this one that I just got. This nodule. It's really beautiful. My pattern. It's just gorgeous. I'm fascinated by them. Uh, she'll figure it out later. Anyway. Um, there's all that. We got pink flowers over there. We kind, of, we kind of decided against uh, backtracking to Abilene just because, number one, we don't have enough time or gas, so it's like, whatever. Anyway.
and I'd rather just sit here and uh, gaze at the uh, lovely scenery because uh, the lovely scenery which is so incredibly lovely and just <laughs> wonderful is it me or does Bella look like she's put on weight It looks like she's put on quite a bit. Those jeans are screaming. Those things are fucking tight. And so's that top. I mean, it's a pretty top, but it needs to be looser. As you can see, every bump and roll. there Now, when Boo saw me, she didn't think I was as big as I, as I am. Do you know why? Camouflage. Camouflage. People think I weigh 150 pounds. It's because I know how to camouflage. I know how not to look my size. I know where to have things tight and I know where to have things loose. And I know what patterns to have on my clothes. I know what parts of my body to emphasize and what parts to de-emphasize. I've been at this a while. And there are ways of making yourself look thinner. She's not mastered that. Uh, we're not going to scream and yell like Shannon and Rev because that's just not what we're doing. That's not who we are. Um, and we're also not going to complain about other people uh, because that's a character thing. <laughs> Although I guess she was up at like six in the morning. Sounds like you're fucking complaining to me. What the fuck is it to you if she was up at six in the morning? The woman has trouble sleeping. As for that, for, for that matter, so do I. Because I have PTSD. Post-traumatic stress disorder. From a brutal attack I, I suffered in 1992 or 1993 rather, and from a war I was in. Oh, and Boo met uh, one of my battle buddies. Who confirmed my story. Without me even having to say anything. about what my job was over there and how I handled myself. So Nick, you can suck it. Yeah, I am going to keep bringing it up because you have no right to question my valor. I could squash your nuts into oblivion with my bare hands. And do you want to toy with me? Really? Yeah, making videos of people. And we're, we're just not that exciting right now. I mean, this is, you know, this, this, is, this is life. You know, you just kind of you work, you vacation, you relax. You know, humans were not meant for the chaos of YouTube or the chaos of, uh, of uh, social media. We're just kind of supposed to be hanging out and chilling. It's really kind of what humans are supposed to do. You know, we're just, we're just supposed to kind of like, you know, 
to eat, you find food, you eat, you, you know, find a meat, you do that stuff, you know, you just, you know, just basics, right? Basics. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with it. Somebody will say, he's disparaging people who work a nine-to-five job and their only purpose in this life is to, is to reproduce the next generation. That's fine. Hats off to those people. I love those people. Yeah, you should. They pay your fucking salary, you asshole. Well, because they keep the population at a good steady level. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for them, I, uh, oh, well, you know, humans would go extinct. But, yeah. Did you have fun making it up those stairs, Sabella? Uh, down those stairs. Did you have fun making it down those stairs? Who said that? No, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. nobody's chatting. Nobody's chatting. Nobody's chatting. All right. Oh, imagine that. Would they're, they're you they're like to have some fun, uh... Imagine that, Nick. Nobody's chatting in your chat. Everybody's fucking lurking. Could that be because everybody hates you? Could it be? Just spitballing here. You're you're a world class knob. You know that. Learning how to swim in that, uh, like right there. A kayak, that lake. What, me having fun to swim? I can swim. With hey, Dwayne, how you doing? Huh? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I, can sw I can't swim without a life jacket. I need a life jacket. I, I don't like water. I don't like big pools of water. I like to be on land. Land is my friend. That's why I'm going to be looking for land. With houses on it to steal because you know if you can't steal houses then what has this country come to right i don't doubt you and you know what you may say you're joking but i don't think you are i think that's what you're planning on doing and i think you're going to use sabella as a patsy You're going to get her on board with this shit. You're a scumbag. Am I right? I look like the Unabomber, just saying. Because the wind is... Oh, you look like a douchebag. It's uh, a little chill. And it's also, it's a dry heat when it does get hot, so... Anyway. It's very nice out here. It is very nice. I love the lake. Yep. I love the scenery too. And Kitty's very happy. Uh huh. She's like, fuck you. So she's just, you know, she's just, uh, I, I will post a picture of, uh, I'll, I'll do a little short video eventually of Gracie and I'll just upload it because uh, she's she's had uh, you know yeah Grimace fell on hard times and hooked up with Corky <laughs> yeah Grimace fell on hard times and hooked up with Corky <laughs> Shit. <laughs> a lot of cats don't do well with traveling. Uh, yeah, they're, they're near water. Uh, Grace has actually done fairly well with traveling. I just think it's like freaking her out that, that like, uh, um. Hey, Steph, how you doing? And she just does not like, uh. I, I don't know. There's just different things she doesn't like. It's, it's like we were freaking out because when she's in the car, she doesn't seem to want to eat, drink, or use the litter box. So we were freaking out about that. But yeah, but at the hotel, she used it like three or four times. Yeah, yeah. So wow. I think she's just kind of like in a stress mode when we're driving to a degree. Um, 
I, it's, 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 it's too much stimulation for me. You should have left your cat at home. It had someone look in on her. Because this trip has been tough on her. I'm going to tell you right now, moving, moving my cats from one place to another was stressful for them. They didn't know what the hell was happening. I had them both in a pet carrier. And they were looking at me like, you bastards. You bastards. For her, even in the kettle, I think it's just too much stimulation for her. That's why she's hanging down in the, uh, in the uh, floorboard of the passenger side. And so we might actually try to not, try not even bother using the kettle tomorrow. Or sorry, uh, when we do come back. Uh, we're, we were we were thinking we were gonna take her with us to see the eclipse. That's not gonna that's not gonna work. She's way too stressed out. All she wants to do is sit in her playpen with her toys, surrounded by her toys, and she's got her food, her water, everything she needs. Hell, the sun looks a little dark there. I think it's Sabella's ass blocking out the sun. That's the, thing, that's the thing, you know, people, it's like humans crave stimulation. Most of their animals do not. Most of their animals want a boring, like, repetitive life. Because that's, in their minds, you know, in their minds, change and chaos means um, that they're going to be eaten, you know. Most of us like structure, Corky. Most of us like structure and rules. Because it gives us a left and right limit. And tells us, gives us guidelines. I am a creature that has to have structure. Why I joined the army. If I don't have structure, I'm lost. I have to have structure. Maybe in your own loser way, you don't need structure because you don't do shit. But I need structure. And you're going to be laughing out of the other side of your ass when I get this job. And I've been there a while. People like you test my patients to the nth degree. They really do. Because you want to sit there and pontificate. And act like you know about everything. When you know nothing. You know little of the world other than prison. And you're on assistance because you can't take care of yourself. You see, I have a pension. A pension is something you work for. A pension is something you give something to get. And I'm not through trying. I'm always going to try.
That's one thing about me. I never know when I'm beaten. I keep getting up. I'll take a hit. I get knocked down and I keep getting up. You'll just lay down and stay down. Like the pussy you are. Uh, there, there's an old saying. It's like, uh, what's normal for the spider is chaos to the fly. You know, it's just absolute chaos. Because it knows it's going to die. And that's usually, you know, if you're, of, if you're at a low consciousness level, everything that's uncomfortable is a potential for death. And it's a, for an animal, it's a feeling. It, I don't even think an animal can verbalize it. I don't, an animal, I don't think, really understands death or knows what death is. All it knows is uh, other animals. You know, and then yeah. again, you gotta to and ask, okay, is it, are animals... Dogs are up for anything. Do animals have a degree of self-awareness? And dogs are up for anything. Go for a ride. Go for a ride. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? New adventure. New adventure. New adventure. New adventure. Let me hang my head out. New smells. New smells. That's a dog. They're excited about everything. Not a cat. Nope. Cats are totally opposite. They don't come when they're called. If you try to rescue them, they'll back up into the dangerous situation they're in. And they are just different creatures. What you can do with a dog, you can't do with a cat. If they have a degree of self-awareness, are they all solipsistic? Do they, do they, you know, recognize, I mean, surely they recognize other animals similar to them to a degree as other. But, um... As far as like recognizing other species as like having their own motivations, feelings, lives, goals, etc. I don't think that they have it. Like I was, I was, uh, uh, me and Mike, where I was talking to Mike, asked, I was, I said to Mike, I was like, okay, well, consider this, right? If animals had a, had an awareness of the concept of God, not not whether or not they believed in a god, but if they had the, if they if they knew the concept of a god, would that be like some all powerful being watching over you, et cetera, et cetera? What would be their opinion of that god, and what would be the opinion of this world? Well, there are the, it, it would be truly for, for your average animal, it would be truly hell on earth. How you doing, my brother? Because it's like, it'd be okay, there's this all-powerful entity, and it's, you know, making you go through all this pain. I mean, think about, like, for cattle, right? You tell it, you, you make a cow sentient. And, yeah, I, I know it's lagging. It's definitely lagging. Because we're not in a good Wi-Fi spot. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You know, it's in a, it's in a, it's in a, Anyway. Yeah, I noticed the closer you get to the water, the more it lags. Well, I think I think when you say existential crisis, and yeah, uh, dolphins. And uh, other animals, elephants, definitely have a higher level of consciousness than the average, you know, than a deer, for example. Um, 
I, I think, though, you know, like a cat. Uh, again, how does intelligence play into consciousness, right? It's, it's like if you're intelligent, you understand that, you know, like, like the first person who like started to understand. Corky, you don't know anything. My cats feel love, envy. Anger. They can have emotion. They have feelings. Just like we do. And I've seen it. Callie is still coming to grips with her with her blindness. The other cats don't understand that she's blind. And I've had to break up fights because she'll run into one of them or walk up on one of them with no warning because she can't see. So I've had to pick Callie up and relocate her. So that she doesn't get into trouble. Because she's very old. She's too old to be fighting. And I don't want them to fight to begin with. But. You know. As a matter of fact. All the animals have been acting weird. With this, with this approaching eclipse. Cats have been acting a more aggressive. It's very strange. I don't know if the... I don't know if it's having an effect on them or not, but all of them have been in a bad mood for the last couple days. And what an eclipse was. At some point it was like, okay, there's these things that happen. These, you know, they're physical objects, et cetera, right? Whereas the stupid person would be like full of superstition and, uh, <laughs> you know, thinking that, like, uh, you know, a serpent was eating the sun or some shit. And, uh, you know, and then that's the thing, you know, where does intelligence fit in with Hey, Melly, how you doing, hon? Consciousness. Because you can be intelligent and just not conscious at all. Because I think to be conscious, to be to a high degree of consciousness, you have to have some degree of empathy and understanding and compassion. And, you know, you look at like a, a serial killer, like a sociopath or something. They, there's an awareness there, but it's, it's, there's, there's kind of like, like, uh, like they know what the person's going through, but they don't, they, they, they're looking at it like they're reading out of a text, right? They're looking at it like a blueprint of, okay, this person is doing this, they're reacting in this way, therefore, Act, you know, it's it's one of the it's it's like a computer program. It's A equals A, but then if they do B, well, B equals you know something else. It's like it's it's just a it's a complete binary code. Let everything let us breath. Well, and the thing of it is, is like, are they praising just by having life, just by living, just by going through the natural cycles of life? Because what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God, you are making me tired. Nick is making me tired. It's unfortunately this world, you know, everything has to eat each other to survive to a great degree. The beast of the field shall honor me. Yeah, all of these people are quoting scripture for some reason in my chat. Todd, Todd, Toddly, the toddly, the totter. Anyway, the toddler.
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be nice. We like Todd. Anyway. And when I say we, I'm talking about uh, all my other personalities, including the demons who are begging me to let them leave my body, and I've said, No, you're mine! Why haven't we seen Pazazu for so long? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he is never escaping. Anyway, she's getting creeped out by my uh, voices. You know what? I can't follow what you're saying, so I'm just going to say you have a small penis. You have a small penis. All my voices. I like it. But yeah, I mean, no, I'm enjoying the people. Uh, huh? It's very pretty out there. It is very pretty out there. Um, the thing is, we've got we've got like really narrow stairs to go down. Uh, to get there, and there's a bench on a dock, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So, you know. <laughs> no, nah, he's just blathering. Oh, broad. Just I blathering. did. I did not know that was a blue bell. I yeah, wasn't sure what that bell. was. It's not like that for cats, is it? No. Okay. Yes, I went down there and I oh, there's blue bells growing down there. Whoops. Sabella, so you wouldn't know a blue bell from a blue ball. Bong angle. There's blue bells going down there. Pick one for Anyway. Oh, come on. What the heck? That's what it's hot. Yes, everybody in the in the like house has told him that. Even the kitty cat. cat. Yes, great. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Gracie, language. Language, <laughs> Gracie. Don't use dirty words, Gracie. And she said, fuck you, Daddy, and crawled into the bed. Uh, she, she's having she's having her little teenage years. She was not happy with us yesterday. Not happy. Oh, my God. She was not happy about leaving the hotel. Not happy. She's happy now, so... Thought 2024, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that is pretty shitty, uh, AK. Toth 2024, oh yeah. Toth 2024. And uh, it's supposed to be... That's a shitty looking sweatshirt. There's, there's a whole, like... You're gonna tell me that you brought that shitty, holy fucking sweatshirt on damn vacation. Why didn't you bring something nicer? Instead of looking like a rag bag. Fucking, uh, so there, there was this couple that I followed as far as like on podcasts and shit like that. And they had a YouTube channel <laughs> and they went to Egypt and did ayahuasca in the Great Pyramid. They have video. You can find Woo! it online if you know where to look. Um, then after, uh, I want to say about 2020, they just kind of, you know, they're focused on their uh, uh, cannabis oil business. Uh, hey, Corky. Hey, Sabella. Hey, Shanny. Hey, Rev. Stop stealing my shit, Shanny. And Corky and Sabella, I hope you're enjoying your vacation that you're not taking and all the live streaming you're fucking doing and playing on your fucking phone rather than enjoying yourself. A couple of retards. Didn't mean to use the R word. Regards. You are. You're a couple of regards. You can't leave this shit alone even when you're on a supposed vacation. Can't even leave this shit alone for one fucking day. Oh, by the way, guys, I might not be streaming tomorrow because 
Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a major clean out on my house. I'm going to be taking a lot of stuff to Goodwill. So you may not see me tomorrow. I'm just giving you a heads up. So don't worry about me. I didn't drop off the face of the earth. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't get myself arrested. Uh, I just, I got a whole mountain of shit to do. I do. I have a mountain of shit to do. And whatever else they're doing, and it's just like, okay, well, and they haven't, it's like, they haven't really done anything. Because, you know, they've done way too yep. much ayahuasca, uh, probably. Uh, I am not going to do any more ayahuasca, because I don't like how it makes me feel, but I am going to do mushrooms. Uh, there's actually a company that makes uh, chocolate bars with uh, chocolate in them. And we're going to hopefully buy some oh, of those. Oh, is, AK. And uh, eventually and we'll do some mushrooms. I don't think anybody as unstable as you and Sabella should do mushrooms. Personally. That's just my take on it. You're both pretty unstable. So I wouldn't do mushrooms if I were you. It's just my personal opinion. Let's see if we, me, I, I want to see if there's like any like entities and shit hanging around me. Because I, th I think right, everything please. is Take like care. either running away from me or else it's just not like I'm just totally not picking up on it at all. I don't know. But then again, I might shit myself if I saw something. I don't think I would. But, you know, you never know how you're going to react until you actually see something. Uh, there's the, the, I mean, it's, it's not like they leave it empty. I mean, the Egyptian government does a lot of scientific stuff in there. They met, they're measuring something. They're always like doing stuff. They're exploring stuff. It's like, uh, but yeah. Um, I, I am going to take a lot of pictures and I'm going to use them for thumbnails. Yeah, that's true. Don't call for things you are not ready. Oh my God. Are you going to keep droning on and on and on? Ugh. You're making me tired. And you've got a little dick. That's all I got to say. You're making me tired. And you got a little dick. Before. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then again, people. Uh, I think I might have done that once, and maybe I'm just not like letting myself see stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen my recording. I was really into Wicca, and I called Breed and Freya, and I saw two glowing orbs descend from the ceiling, and I kind of freaked out a little bit. No, I haven't. Just like, yeah, I'm it. just gonna let him like have this, you know, existence, and then he can figure it out once. Wow, that looks like Sabella. Poor cat. Nick, you're you're a dickhead. You're just a fucking dickhead. Figure it out once he's on the other side. It's like, okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, so right now, basically, we're looking at a dickless moron droning on and on about existential stuff that he knows nothing about 
And he's talking about taking mushrooms. Him and Sabella. Sabella, you'll do any damn thing, won't you? Very beautiful out here. Very beautiful. And I, and there's the sun. It's kind of easy even well, right have, now. So it. Like, I don't know what's going on. We covered Where's it, Blue. The cat? the cat is in the house. Uh, there's an upstairs area where she is hanging out with, uh, yeah. She's got her playpen and her toys. And oh, she did. She pet. followed you to the bathroom? Yes, last night. Okay. I didn't forget her, Marin. How are you doing today, baby? I went to the bathroom and she followed me down. She was like, oh, wait. She kept like, she kept going ahead of me and then she stopped and then went back She upstairs. She's probably unhappy with me because I keep making her have new experiences. <laughs> She's like, she knows once the harness goes on, we're putting her in the car, and it's like, that's her little mindset. Um, I wanted to take her out here, but I don't think she'd like it with the wind, you know. This is why I don't like you, Corky. You make everything try to bend to your will. That cat is not going to bend to your will. I'm going to tell you what that cat's going to do. It's going to rebel. Cats do what the fuck they want to do. Period. Period. If you don't understand it, if you don't understand that, understand that, just remember, cats do what the fuck they want to do. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just let her chill. I mean, this is her first experience having, you know, whatever. Uh, surprisingly, no, she has not, not had any accidents in the car. I was worried about that. Um, we're going to try to have to get the floorboard cleaned up a little bit because there's way too much dry litter and food particles on it. And it's filthy, so... We tried putting her bed in it uh, down there, but she didn't want to sleep in her bed on there either. Yeah, you so. have to wash her bed today. Huh? You have to wash her bed today. We need to, yeah. We need to wash that. She slept uh, inside her place last night. Yeah. When I came back up, she what, she made sure I got in bed, and then she went into her little place <clears throat> to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we'll cover. going on. If I'm on tomorrow, I'll cover that one tomorrow. Day. This is gonna be. And the unfortunately, last to a cat, you cannot explain what vacation is because their whole life is a vacation. It's it's like it's like trying to explain to Shani and Rev or Carrie. You just pissed me off. I don't know if you realize that or not. Lumping Carrie in with them. Carrie works in her house, keeping it clean, washing her husband's clothes, cooking meals, and doing what she needs to do to see to it that her husband has everything he needs so he can work his full-time job. That takes work. You pig. You want to talk about a lazy some bitch. You're a lazy some bitch. You know how I know you're a son of a bitch? Because could nothing but a bitch have you. What time off means because it's a, it's a complete... It, it, they have no concept of time off because their 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 lives are time off. It's like trying to teach a fish about water, right? Its its entire existence is in the water. So trying to get it to notice the water is kind of pointless because it's going to be like, well, what's water? Oh, the stuff you're in right now. It's, it's like trying to describe air, right? Bird. 
Wind's picking up. Yeah. We pissed something off. It says, I'm a Texas cryptid and I'm going to scare the shit out of you fucking Texans. Bitch, we're from Nebraska and that one's from Florida. Please, we eat cryptids for breakfast. Don't even try us. <laughs> Technically. You're also from Texas, though, yeah. so I mean, but you had Florida. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, somebody's out in the lake. Boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Veronica says you brought it with you. What the cryptid? We might have. I don't know. Who knows? I wonder. I wonder if like ghosts and that shit can like travel the world. Because if I was a ghost, I'd be traveling the world. Okay. I'd be fuck this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking you know walk across the ocean. I'm gonna go see Egypt. I'm gonna go see. Your... Wait for the chat to catch up. God, what a goon. Oh, he's such a goon. Caught in the act. Of crime. Look at that one, Gollum. Fuck the Oscars. <laughs> These are Nick's crimes against Nebraska. <laughs> Caught in the act. Of crime. Fucking psycho. Look at that one, Gollum. Fuck the Oscars. <laughs> These are Nick's crimes against Nebraska. <laughs> what a creep. Is there anything he can do without being creepy? Anything? Anything? Uh, all these different countries, I'll just like, sit there. Think of, do you, you have to, as a ghost, do you have to like walk? I don't know. Or do you have to just, just think about it and teleport? That'd be fucking awesome. You know. Just sit there and think about it and teleport. That'd be freaking awesome. I know that one ghost uh, hunter girl, that Rebecca ghost hunter or whatever the hell she calls herself. Uh, she says uh, lots of ghosts are basically they just hang around certain areas and they walk. Clip the fucking thing to your shirt, you ass. Walk. Like they'll literally like, she was, uh, she was messing with one. She's filming us or something. I don't know. They're both out there now. I think. No. Uh... I think it's both of them. Oh, think so? Down. <laughs> they're coming down to see the madness. The madness of the Bravo. <laughs> I don't pull my nose. <laughs> ah! That's disgusting. You are very disgusting. I am disgusting. Stay away from me. You are fucking Fuck disgusting. Days. Good night, Marin. That was a sneeze. That was me trying to blow my nose onto the dang ground and I got it on the, uh, I got it on the, uh, whatever. You blew a snot rocket? I, uh, you blew a fucking snot rocket. Ugh. You filthy creature. I am not doing well over here. And then there's these two. They're having fun. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway. We're at the fire pits because he wants some more marshmallows later. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that'll work. It's not too windy. See, there's proof that we have friends. Carrie has not provided any proof whatsoever. Um, because she doesn't have proof. She has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Where are you at? We are in Texas. You're a toothless, dickless bastard. Who dumps on everything. Simply because you can't be a part of things. I'd be willing to wager Carrie's got a lot of friends because she's just that sweet. Now, me, not so much. But her, yeah. People get used to my sardonic manner. And they come to like me. I get hugs all over the place when I come into that flea market. They even call, I even have some of the girls call me sometimes. I don't always pick up. I should, but I don't. And that's my failing. That's my my failing. I hold everybody at arm's length, except for John. And maybe a couple of other people. There's a couple of Vietnam vets I like very much. And then there are my battle buddies. We're all fairly close. But I find, you know, just superficial blather exhausting. If I talk, I have something to say. Not like him, where he can just talk and talk and talk and talk about nothing. I have to have a point to the conversation. Yeah, I can say hi, how are you? You know, what's up? You know, and shit like that. But, you know, if there's going to be a conversation, it's there's got to be a point to it. Otherwise, it's just fluff. And I'll deal in fluff. Have you seen any cool oh, thanks, animals? Oh, artist. Uh, not really. They're I hiding. Like it's Florida with you got gators everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if we went to Florida, we would fight a gator. Gary, because he has a nip. He's still finally coming up, coming down the pike. Anyway. Ah. So anyway. 
I, I think I'm going to end the stream because we're just going to... Do I recognize that guy? I, I don't know. I, <laughs> he looks like the Unabomber. I just think the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, y'all both get hit all the way down. Okay. Oh, yeah. All That's the way down. Where I want. Okay. Do you want to go all the way down? Uh, we might as well. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Paladin's like, don't make them uncomfortable. Fuck them. They're friends of mine. They're, 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 uh, they're aware of my nonsense. They're, they're, uh, they're perfectly fine with my nonsense. And I behave myself, uh, already. I can actually behave in public, unlike the rest of you. I somehow find that doubtful. Because I know how to behave in public. I use good table manners. And people aren't embarrassed to be seen with me. I'd be willing to wager a bet. And if I did a poll right now, everybody in this room would rather have dinner with me than you. Because you're a malignant narcissist. An asshole. Who dumps on everything. You do. You dump on everything. You do. You dump on this. You dump on that. You dump on me. You dump on Black Onion. You dump on Carrie. But you're not successful. You're never successful. You just look dumb. Every time you try to come at one of us, you just make yourself look worse. I don't care what kind of crap your head's being filled with by other people. You're taking a lot of L's this year. And the year is young. Although I don't. Oh, and you got a little dick. I think most of these people that are watching, well, I can't say that. Most of the, how do I say this? They won't know who they are or who he is. I can behave in public. Unlike, let's start the list Rev, Shanny, Carrie, Darren, Rabbit O' Bat, uh, uh, TJ, uh, let's just go down the list and fuck with everybody, shall we? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave my coke up here. Carry my drink, though. Oh. I only have to go down steps like that. Yeah, this is why I should have been in front of you. Silly woman. I only have to go down steps like that whenever I'm in stiletto heels. Hi, stiletto heels. Six inch stiletto heels. And I don't have to go that slowly. What's the matter, Sabella? That front flub getting in the way? Are you still streaming? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, she has knee problems. Because she has bad knees. Oh, because, she's fat! 
Uh, anyway, genetics or something, I don't know. Back. Over here. Well, okay, that about wraps it up for me tonight. Nick, you got a tiny penis. Little thing. A little bitty thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Sunny Sod. <laughs> Don't want no short dick, man. Don't want no short dick, man. Don't want, don't want any weeny, teeny weeny, shrivel little short dick, man. Don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want any teeny weeny, any weeny, shriveled little short dick, man. Don't want, don't want, don't want. Hey, it's time for me to go. I got to get to bed. And it is that time. I want to thank everybody that came out and saw me today. You guys rock. I don't care if you were here for 10 minutes, 10 seconds, or the whole thing. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Melly! Melly! We are corrupting you! <laughs> you know what? It isn't the size of the ship. It is the motion of the ocean. But it takes a hell of a long time to get to England in a rowboat. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You know why? Will do you? Because nobody else will. You don't take care. And I will see you later. You may not see me tomorrow because I will be working on this house. Bye.